and welcome back to MD Mode TV. And today we're going to talk about the five things that we need to know in order to develop style. So let's start. What are those five things that we need to know? Number one is we need to know what colors look good on you. I love color. I love to wear black and white and red and orange and yellow. I love color. But I need to know what are the colors that look good on me. You know, like every good New Yorker, my closet is filled with black. But I accessorize it with different colors in order to know the colors that look good on you. That's really important. So the one thing is to know the colors that look good on you. Okay, now, number two. What's your body type? What are the silhouettes that look good on you depending on your body type? Right? Are you petite like an Eva Longoria or a Kerry Washington? Or are you a little bit more of that curvy girl like a J-Lo and a mm, Scarlett Johansson and also a little sexy Sofia Vergara? Or are you more of that gorgeous plus size woman? Or like we like to say in Spanish, just a little bit full, right? What, someone like a uh, Melissa McCartney, or even an Ashley Graham, or are you more of a seasoned fashionista, like Jane Fonda? Have you seen her rock that runway lately? She looks amazing. Or maybe even a classic Helen Mirren, who always looks good at every occasion that she goes to. So know your body type and know how to dress for that body type, okay? The next thing is knowing about your personality. You know, I can tell you right now that you look amazing in one of like a very short mini dress that's very tight, but you don't feel comfortable in it. So guess what? It's not going to look good. It doesn't. Everything looks good when you feel good in it, okay? You know, I just gave you examples of these beautiful women, right? Someone like a Jane Fonda or a Helen Mirren who are really considered Nowadays, older, I think they're very young, in my opinion, because they look amazing. But a lot of women their age would never think of dressing that way because they don't feel it. It's not their personality. These ladies, they're youthful, they're fashionable, they know it, and they rock those looks. Or someone like a Sofia Vergara, who happens to be very sexy, and she dresses that way because she feels comfortable that way. So, there you have it. You've got to dress for your personality so that it feels good. The other thing is dressing for your lifestyle. That's number four. What's your lifestyle? Do you um, go to work at a law firm? Or are you more of a creative and you're in a studio? Or are you a stay-at-home mom? It all depends about your, lifesty your lifestyle and what you should be wearing for that lifestyle. So consider that when considering style. Now, the last one, number five, is going to be being current, knowing what's going on. I know, a lot of you think, I really don't care about fashion, but here's a little secret. If you're seeing this channel, you care a little bit about fashion, and you want to know what's going on, and I like that, because you need to know what's going on. Being current and knowing what's going on in fashion lets other people know that you know what's going on in other parts of life. Because fashion is a part of life. So you've got to know what are the trends, what's going on. It doesn't mean you've got to wear them. It doesn't mean you have to wear everything. It means that you've got to adapt the ones that are good for you and work for your lifestyle. So those are the five things to think about when developing style. What was number one? Color. Number two, body type. Number three, your personality. Number four, your lifestyle. And number five, being current. So I hope that you enjoyed those five little tips. And I'll see you here next time on Monica Diaz Mode TV or MD Mode TV. See you next time.